Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make chicken breast at home that doesn't suck. I'm sure everybody watching this video has done the old chicken, rice, and broccoli diet. And as much as we like to pretend like it's not that bad, we all understand that chicken, she gets a little hard to eat. On about day three or four of eating that meal prep chicken, you feel like you're living at Auschwitz. But don't you worry, folks. With what I'm about to show you, you're never gonna eat boring chicken again. Let's go. What I have here is a container filled with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And one of the reasons we wanna opt for this over a chicken breast is first and foremost, each chicken thigh is going to contain more fat that's marbled throughout the meat. That is gonna make every single bite you take more juicy, more filled with flavor, and overall just a optimal chicken experience. Now I understand what you're thinking. You're like, Rem, well if chicken thighs have more fat than chicken breast, aren't they higher calorie? And the short answer to that is yes, they are higher calorie, but the difference if you took equivalent servings of both is only about 60 to 70 calories. You're still getting a high protein food, except like with the anabolic diet that we do on this channel, it's an option that is way better. So my thought process on this is that eating chicken thighs when done right is a way more enjoyable experience. And if you're the type of person that has went on a plain chicken breast style of diet and you burn out because you're not having fun with it, then switching to what I call the steak, the filet mignon of chicken is in the long run gonna set you up for more long-term success because it's a way better food. And at the end of the day, as long as you're eating the amount of calories you need in a day, you're gonna be just fine. So enough chicken thigh facts, let's get to work. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is cook this entire container of chicken thighs. I've been making these in big batches lately and I just store them in my fridge. They're lasting me for about four to five days and then when I need protein in a pinch, I can just add it real quick to any meal that I'm doing. I'll even throw it on some of my anabolic pizzas. It's that good. Now feel free to skip this step. If you just wanna eat your chicken thighs plain, they're still amazing that way. When I did the carnivore diet, this was my meat of choice. I would eat these literally plain with just salt. That's all I was allowed to do and it was honestly amazing. But I think if you follow my little seasoning guide, you're gonna make them that much better. So I believe I got roughly nine chicken thighs there. So I'm gonna start with nine grams of garlic powder. Next up, I'm gonna do nine grams of paprika, as long as I don't run out. All right, we ran out, but no big deal. I got a sweet Texas barbecue rub that the main ingredient is paprika on, so I'm not that worried about it. Let's throw some of this in here. It's gonna be good no matter what. I'm gonna do about nine grams of some onion powder. I'm also gonna do about nine grams of kosher salt. You can leave this out if you want. A lot of people give salt a bad rap, but salt's not making you fat. Salt's not doing anything wrong for you. It's a necessity in life, man. Just drink a little extra water and you'll be good. And then finally, super secret ingredient, we wanna add some baking powder to this. That helps the outsides get extra crispy. I've been doing this ever since I started making these and I think it's way better when you do this. But hey, not a necessity, man. No rules in this kitchen. Now once it's in here, I'm just gonna go in, mix everything together with a spoon and so everything we added is fully combined. All right, check it out. We got the seasoning all mixed up, chicken thighs right here waiting in the wings, and I got a baking sheet with a wire rack. I like these wire racks. They elevate it, make it cook a little better in my opinion. They're super cheap. Get them on Amazon. I got links in my description for all my kitchen gadgets if you're wondering. So we're gonna hit this with a little bit of nonstick. And check me out, man, it is really this easy. We're gonna take our chicken thigh, dip it down in the seasoning, flip it over, give it another dip, go in and get any crevices, anything like that that you want. And then once she's looking good and covered, all I'm gonna do is sit it right here on the rack. And when it comes to these chicken thighs, you might be thinking that you wanna go in and trim all this fat off this on here, which you can do. But for me, I notice when I cook it, it tends to render off and keep the chicken more moist. If you trim it off though, it's still gonna be fine because there's still fat rendered all in the meat. So don't gotta worry about that. Me personally, I just keep her on. So I'm just gonna go in, get all of these a nice little bit of our seasoning on the outside. And I'll keep adding them to the baking sheet and I'll see you guys when these are finished. All right, so we got five of our chicken thighs fully seasoned on the rack. They are ready to go. What we're gonna do now is toss these in the oven at 425 degrees for about 12 minutes. At that point, I'll pull them out, I'll flip them over, give them another eight, I'll temperature check them, make sure that 165 degrees internal. And at that point, we'll be good to go. Let me toss these in, then I'm gonna show you another method to make these even better, in my opinion.
Now, for meal prep and chicken thighs, the oven is the way to go. You saw we only loaded up one rack, but you could easily make this load up three racks and cook an absolute ton of chicken. But if I just wanna make some chicken thighs for a quick dinner and I want them to be extra crispy, then the air fryer is the way to go. So all I'm gonna do here is hit my air fryer basket with a little bit of nonstick. Then I will just place these down in here, making sure they aren't touching. And keep in mind with an air fryer, if there's not enough space on the bottom, you can always put stuff up the sides like so, and it's gonna cook great. All right, that looks good to me. What I'm gonna do is air fry this on 400 degrees. We're gonna go anywhere from 13 to 16 minutes. Tends to be the sweet spot for me. I like to go a little longer. I like them a little crispier. So we'll go with 15. I might flip them around the 10 minute mark. And yeah, at that point, we're gonna have ourselves some delicious chicken here, folks. Let's go. All right, we just pulled these out of the oven, and let me tell you, they look perfect. Let me see if I can give you a closer look. All right, that's better. Now, if you take a look at this, look at how the outside got all crispy, and without even breading it or deep frying or anything, we developed this nice little skin. But if you can look at this and just look how moist it is. Like, if I pick this up, hope you guys can see that. All that juice on top there, and then I wonder if I can pull this apart. Grab it. Oh, see, are you, are you watching this? See, look at that right there. Look at how juicy and tender that is in there. And that was in the oven. If you do chicken breast that way, this does not happen. And if I pull out one of the air fryer ones, what you're gonna notice first and foremost is that it's way more crispy. The air fryer is gonna make the outer part of this really feel like it was deep fried. And at this point, we have a load of chicken prepped and ready to go. It's gonna be good in the fridge for around four to five days. It's moist, it's naturally gonna hold a lot of flavor and it's gonna pair well with anything that you put it with. Now let me go ahead and arrange these in such a fashion because your boy needs a thumbnail. So if you can hit that thumbs up button for me right here in the video, helps out a ton. It really does. For those of you that do that, I really appreciate it. Check it out guys, just wanna show you once again, I can grab this piece right here, squeeze it, and look how juicy and how that just falls apart. Seriously guys, do not sleep on this right here. When you try this, it is literally the filet mignon of chicken. Ever since I started doing this, I haven't looked back. Anyways guys, before this gets cold, let's do a little taste test. All right, guys, let's get this going. Now, before I actually take a bite into one of these juicy delicacies, I wanna let all the New Year's resolutioners know that if you actually want to get results that last you longer than maybe a few weeks, you wanna diet that's actually something you enjoy, you're eating foods you actually love, don't forget my channel has a ton of other recipes, just like this one. We have chocolate chip waffles, pizzas, skillet nachos, ice cream, literally everything to where you're eating the foods you actually enjoy, but we're just making the better versions, the diet-friendly versions. Those are all on my channel, and they're also all broken down in my cookbook, which you can find at the first link in the description box. Literally every recipe on the channel is in here, step-by-step -step instructions, what you gotta weigh out, the calories, the macros, the protein, literally everything. I'm telling you, you follow us in here, you will see results no matter what, and it'll be your best New Year's resolution yet. So seriously, consider checking this out, and plus, every time I add a new recipe like this one, it's added to the book for free, so it just keeps on growing, baby. So yeah, if you want the ultimate diet guide right in your pocket, right here, man, you won't regret it. All right, let's get in here. So the first thing I wanna do, ooh, let me grab this juicy guy right here. Now, this this one came out of the oven, so I do want to compare the air fryer to the oven and see how they stack up. So I'm just take a bite right off of this. If you have never had chicken this way, it's a total game changer. It's super moist, it's got a ton of flavor, and then the seasoning blend we put on it is just the icing on the cake. Seriously, when I say this is like the filet mignon of chicken, I ain't kidding. 10 out of 10, could eat that all day. Now let me get one of the air fryer ones right here. Here we go, that came out of the air fryer. You can tell it's a little more crispy, looks a little more textured. It's gonna be good nonetheless. Honestly, on which one's better? It's a coin flip, man. You get a little more of the breading feeling on the air fryer one. I think the oven ones are a little juicier, although the air fryer one's still extremely juicy, so either way you do it, you're gonna be fine. And then for anyone wondering, nutritionally, for a 140 gram or five ounce serving of chicken thighs, exactly how we did it, we have 235 calories, 11 fat, 34 protein, zero carb, zero fiber. And when I weigh out chicken thighs, the average weight tends to be right there at that 140 gram mark. So if you just ate two of these real quick, you'd be at 470 calories, 22 grams of fat, and 68 grams of protein with no carbs, which to me is just about perfect. And after a couple of those, I'm feeling really good. That was incredible. Like I said, you guys have, and I mean have to try this. If you've never had chicken thighs this way, it's gonna blow your mind. Literally, it's the Cadillac of chicken. Now, before I go, I do wanna make a quick announcement. So with Anabars, right, best tasting protein bar on the market, we had a lot of people upset when we discontinued the PB&J and Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavors, but I have a little something to show you. Check this out. We are bringing them back, but we have upgraded them. So the peanut butter and jelly has turned into milk chocolate, peanut butter and jelly. So it's the same bar you love, except we 
wrapped it in milk chocolate, which might sound weird, but when you try it, I'm telling you, it just makes complete sense. And then my new favorite Anabar, and I'm not even kidding, my new favorite is the white chocolate cinnamon swirl crunch. Like, like I said, it's the cinnamon bar you know and love, but we wrapped it in white chocolate. Now, some people might be like, why would you do that? They were fine how they were, but what we realized with Anabars, right, the ones that have the chocolate coating on the outside, it creates a moisture seal that keeps the entire bar just way more uh, soft, way more fun to eat, just a better experience overall. And on top of that, you add chocolate to it, which um, makes it that much better. So yeah, these are coming back. We're gonna be dropping these closer to the end of the month. So make sure you're following me on social media or following Anabar Official on social media. If you wanna know the exact dates, but um, yeah, let me tell you guys, if you like the originals, these are like 10 times better. So that's coming soon. And as always, you can get Anabars at finalbossformance.com. Could RGF 10 will save you 10%. Um, I think that's everything, guys. I am out of here. I appreciate you guys so very much. All the support on the channel has been incredible. It's a new year, got new goals, new things we want to accomplish. And yeah, I'm ready to make this the best year of my life yet. And I hope you guys are in the same boat. So smash that thumbs up for me. Comment down below. What's your new year's resolution? What are you, what are your goals this year, man? Let's talk about it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gents, I will see each and every one of you with the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We out.